Well, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, did you know? <laughs> Good reminder for everyone, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Um, and if you're struggling to find something for your better half, we have a solution for you right now. Get someone else to write your loved one a unique love song. Okay. Well, Romance Outsourced <laughs> is a company that does exactly that. And the brains behind the business, John McKinnon and Andy Fraser, join us now. Good morning to you, fellas. Good morning. And I have to declare, I was not allowed to see anything about this segment beforehand, so I don't even know what to ask you. <laughs> you guys are all loved up, aren't you? Loved up. Oh, yeah. We're through the romance. Where does the idea, this fantastic idea, come from? Well, basically, we've started off, we were living in London in a band, um, and we were very, very broke. Got to the stage where everybody was going to weddings because um, we were at that age, everybody except for us. Like four weddings and a funeral. Yes. Yeah, pretty, yeah much. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. We can't get any business out of funerals, though. Um, <laughs> so everybody was buying nice wedding presents and asking to chip in. We couldn't do a thing. We so couldn't afford anything, could we, man? Not a thing, yeah. no. So we started writing songs, um, and they were received a lot better. I mean, we found that we were getting, you know, the bride and the groom were coming to us and saying thank you very much. It was memorable, it was unique. So we kept doing it, and then uh, once we came back to Sydney, um, it was. Put, set up a business. Why not do it for How everybody? How many going? people have, have uh, getting you to do songs for them? Quite a few. Yeah, I mean, really? Yeah, we've had a, yeah. a decent amount, haven't we? I mean, we had a few in London, so we thought we'd bring back over here and get the website going and yeah. stuff. And yeah. So is it mostly blokes who sort of feel like they want to be romantic, but they don't? They're not able to find the words. Yeah, it's one way of doing it. It's uh, sort of saying, you know, it's hard to get your emotions across yeah. sometimes, and yeah. there's maybe. Particularly with Australian men, it seems to be difficult to show romance. So. <laughs> they've got the words, though. I mean, they've got the words as, as well. It's just really just the music and the melodies and stuff. You right. know, they want to put it to. And we, we can, yeah. and, yeah. and do you perform it for them, or how does that work? Do you uh, do they write? Do they perform it, or how does that? We work? have performed some. That's yeah. that's something that we we also offer. But yeah, it sort of works both ways. We can record the song and sort of send it to them in a customized CD or an MP3 sort of email, or we can come to your office home. People must be dying to know. I mean, what it sounds like, and, and it's pretty cool. But how do, how does it actually work? So, say for example, and we may we may or may not be demonstrating very soon, <laughs> like in the next ten seconds. But um, how, does, how does it actually work? If I was to write a song about Lisa, well, if you were going to write a song about Lisa, you'd write some character traits about her mm -hmm. down, any funny stories or anything like that, and yeah. send it through. And this could. Yeah. Possibly not end in romance. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I was honest. Do you not expect Carl to be romantic? Yeah. No, no, no. No, I think he is actually oh, very romantic. No way. See, <laughs> I'm the least romantic bloke in the world. Cass hasn't told me that. Well, <laughs> she's lying then. <laughs> hey, uh, anyway, what we've done is I've gone away yeah. and, and I've written down some of the things because the boys require you to write, some, as they say, some funny things, um, as well as some lovely things, as well as some things that annoy you. Um, so... What we've, I've done is recorded some of those things down. These are the things that the boys have got to work with. Here's a look. She once fell asleep on the plane with her finger in a pie. Her favourite beverage is a champagne. She's got a beautiful singing voice, but only when she whispers. Her husband, he looks like a pirate. Her favourite song is Horses by Daryl Braithwaite. That's the way it's going to be, little darling. We met at the Logies and Larry introduced us. It was love at first sight. She didn't even mind that I'd had a few drinks. She is an amazing dancer. I even saw her get flipped at the Logies. We have shared so many laughs together. I'll never forget curling on the Wii, as well as the long stabby moment back in 2011. I hate the way she eats watermelon. <laughs> Which I do to, in front of you every single yeah. day. Uh, but that's all right, because, you know, you, there are many, many, many things that, that I annoy you with. Uh, but you so forgot the guys... about the fact that I can eat mango with lipstick on and not lose any of it. And, and right. it actually that's doesn't a touch your mouth. Myself. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> do it with the tongue. <laughs> anyway, so guys, we're going to give this a go for everyone at home to have a look at, to, to sh for you guys to showcase mm -hmm. your skills really well. So you're ready to go. I'm going to yeah. count yeah. you in. I'm going to yeah. count you in. Go. Okay. <clears throat> Three, two, one, play it. Once fell asleep on an airplane with your finger in a pie And I know you like to drink your champagne until that glass is dry Only when you whisper you sing just like a little starling Your husband Pete's a pirate, Arr. that's the way it's gonna be Little darling, yeah yeah Lisa, it's your one out to Lisa I got drunk at the low keys, you couldn't leave me lonely You didn't sleep, that's just what you told me As you danced so boldly My pretty Mona Lisa Got the wee and I will beat ya Oh no At the low keys, man, you at the low keys My pretty Mona Lisa Glad I left my nature That night Yeah 
yeah. When we first met at the Logies, love at first sight, I could feel it in my goji. So please, I'm talking about that love you bring. I'm not talking about Tim's long stabby thing. I love it when you sing, only in the whisper. As the way it's gonna be, little darling. I miss you when it's the end of the show, Lisa. It's hard to resist you wishing you had a sister. Or a clone that I could take home and we could play We Fit all the long. But pirate Pete, he won't condone, so don't tell him. I hate it when you eat a watermelon. Ugh. Oh, my pretty Mona Lisa, get back and I will beat ya. Oh, at the Logies, met you at the Logies. My pretty Mona Lisa, glad I really me meet ya that night. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, yeah! Amazing! I've got to kiss you! Oh. <laughs> This is great. It's this better is than we ever great. expected. Do you know what's really cool about this? I mean, the guys go out there, go through the expense of you writing a song, and then the girls that you do it for go and hug you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that. What a waste! I can't That's believe the real you guys. Are you, are you both still single? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> because this is it's, this, hard it's like wedding crashes. How clever are you? You get to turn up at weddings and meet a lot of single chicks and yeah. star up on stage like that. If yeah, they're true. into that sort of thing. Yeah. You never know. That's, that's the real plan, isn't it? Got the real girlfriends over there, so yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, well done. How do, how do people get um, get to write the or get people to write them? You guys to write them songs. How do, what's the website called? Uh, it's called romance outsource And how much is it for a basic song? It's about the same price as a bunch of roses, so we wanted to make it really accessible. So it's about eighty dollars. Well, it is eighty dollars wow. for an acoustic song like that. What that's a great incredible. idea. Well, if we can have ownership of that song, it'd be great. Oh, that's it. It's it'll yours, look good yeah. in the promos, and it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> like <laughs> us. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Really terrific Thank stuff, guys. Great to meet you. And uh, can oh, we have a little bit so more to break? Will that be okay? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, go on off you go. Three, two, one. Big round of applause for the guys. Sleep on an airplane with Thank you. <laughs> two, three, four. Two, three, four. My pretty Mona Lisa, grab the wee and I will beat ya. Oh, no. Nah. At the Logies, met you at the Logies. My pretty Mona Lisa, the Larry left me meet ya. That night. Yeah, yeah. When we first met at the Logies, love at first sight, I could feel it in my goji. So please, I'm talking about that love you bring. I'm not talking about Tim's long stabby thing. I love it when you sing, only in the whisper. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. I miss you when it's the end of the show, Lisa. It's hard to resist you wishing you had a sister or a clone that I could take home and we could play We Fit all along. Pop, repeat, he won't condone, so don't tell him. I hate it when you eat a watermelon. Uh. My pretty Mona Lisa, gonna I will beat ya. Oh, no. At the Logies, met you at the Logies. <laughs> <laughs>